hottest trends that we see in the railway industry is the uh, new IC61375 uh, standard. And one of the prominent features that also the IC61375 provides is the so-called leading change. So the train automatically informs in which direction it actually heads. Then a signal is generated and the whole train automatically changes the order. So coming from a consist one, two, three, to then potentially changing over to one, two, three afterwards. to talk about IIoT and how that applies to railway systems. Many of you may have heard about IIoT from manufacturing. This is a term called Industrial uh, in Internet of Things. This is where you can enable connection of data from front-end systems, move that data and push that to a cloud. So Red Lion is positioned, in fact, for SmartTrack 4.0. We apply this term because Redline is uh, incumbent in IIoT. We can take connectivity from uh, front-end systems and we can make, push the data through our, our connectivity. We are unique in that we have the ability to connect through to the front-end. We can move the data through networking and we also have Wi-Fi and cellular connectivity to get this data up to the cloud. So we have a series of products which we so we'll start with talking about the uh, integrated network products. These are typical uh, high-end, wide temperature, high availability networking uh, switches. We have both uh, standard switches, we have uh, POE switches, and we connect them through central servers, which are layer three, high security switches. And we can connect through to the cloud, the data cloud, using our uh, cellular devices and our Wi-Fi devices. What we see in the market, in the railway market, that a lot of railway companies are looking at the next technology. So they've been using SDH for a long time, and they're used to it. And now more and more applications, railway applications, are moving towards the packet world. So they're becoming packet-based. Then they're looking which technology to invest in next. We at OTN Systems, we have decided that MPLSTP is the best technology to make the uh, the backbone of the future because it's packet based but it has the same characteristics let's say as SDH it's also predictable it's managed by a management system you can pre-configure all the protection parts and so on our implementation of uh, the MPLSTP standard is in fact an industrial MPLSTP because we incorporate things which are necessary for the railway sector such as railway certification so this is the largest version of our uh, extra node for redundancy purposes with this redundant power supplies, redundant controllers, so to guarantee high MTBF values. The one interface is typically fiber-based, can be 1 gigabit or 10 gigabit, and over this one link we use MPLSTP, which provides traffic engineering. There are different interface cards which fit in the interface slots. Of course, you can have Ethernet interfaces for all IP or Ethernet based applications, but also TDM and serial connections are supported by means of circuit emulation. I would say we are seeing a higher bandwidth and more ports. 
the high bandwidth in order to uh, connect to video servers, cameras, uh, Wi-Fi equipment, and also the more passenger information system where passengers are also demanding to be part of the, the uh, Wi-Fi network. And also the more ports, as more and more connect ports are used for uh, devices in the train like doors, lights, air condition, even uh, laboratories. So more and more ports is also the trend actually I would say. More and more ports and more and more bandwidth.